As we move forward practicing Li Qing Yun's Healing Sounds Qigong, Understand that this has been a little bit flavored uh, by Buddhism in China or Chan in China. Uh, Li Qingyun said that he learned this version of healing sounds from a Buddhist monk. That does not mean that they're not Taoist in origin, but the flavor to the way that the exercises are practiced is a little bit more passive. It's a little bit uh, less expansive and it's a little bit more passive and peaceful and the more that you learn uh, about the differences between Buddhism and Taoism you'll find that uh, Buddhists have a tendency, not, a, not to generalize too much, but Buddhists have a tendency to be a little bit more reclusive than Taoists. Um, so as we move forward recognize that as a difference. You won't see uh, grandiose larger movements or full extensions or the other types of things that you saw in Hua Tuo's healing sounds which are considered to be sort of more Taoist uh, in nature. With these exercises uh, they're a little bit more peaceful and a little bit less um, large scale. So as we move, move forward keep that in mind. One of the positives about Hua um, the, one of the positives about Li Cheng Yun's version of healing sounds is that there's not the type of neck extensions and shoulder and arm extensions that are in Hua Tuo's healing sounds, which makes this a more appropriate series of exercises for people with limited range of motion in terms of their neck and their shoulders and their back. So uh, keep that in mind as we move forward.